Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to dramatically change mature eyes and it's not with makeup. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below because this is incredible. I'm excited to share this with you. So let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I'm going to go right into this application. I just put a little no redness on my skin because of this blemish. I'm battling these blemishes. It's just really strange. I haven't had blemishes in years and now all of a sudden I do. So a little color neutralizing. This is green. It cancels out red. And then I'm going to put on a little just peachy, which is my peach color corrector, taking out any of these grays, blues underneath my eye. But I found this product back in 2020. So I used to do lash extensions for my customers and I abruptly had to stop seeing clients in March of 2020. So that's really when I stopped seeing clients. I was doing all of this and seeing clients in my studio on the hour. So I used to apply one synthetic lash to one natural lash, one millimeter away from the actual lid. So I would create all different types of sizes and like I would fan them out. It depended on my customers, you know, style, what they wanted. So this is what I did for 14 years with my customers. And then all of a sudden we had to stop and they were like, wait, <laughs> what about my lashes? So I found a company called Lashify and they are the original originators of this kind of technique, but you can go to the drugstore and get false scara. So if you can mascara, you can false scara that comes right from the, the back of the box. It says, if you can mascara, you can fault mascara. So we are going to do this together. It's no clumps, no smudges, no strips, no damage, no mistakes. If you have a high school reunion coming up, my 30th is this year, believe it or not. Couldn't believe it when I saw that the other day. You might have your holiday photos that you're doing. Maybe you are going to have a big birthday and you're not loving, like not seeing any lashes. Mascara is not cutting it. This is what you're going to do. I don't have my glasses on. Okay. So I can't really see. So if you can't see, you can still do this. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how this happens. Now I got this at the drugstore. It took me three different times to get one. And I would suggest going online and buying it. Save yourself the time and the frustration. Go on, on their website, buy it. They have bundles. They have mocha lashes. I know you love brown lashes and brown mascara. You don't like black you can wear brown. There's different sizes. So these look a little long for me, this package here. So I bought some that are small, medium, and long. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put this. They have all kinds of, they have a whole video on their website. They have a whole instructional thing, but this is really, really simple. So it comes with a bond and seal. Now, if you want this to last longer days and stretch it out. They have here, it says on the back, you can get the overnighter and the remover is sold separately, but wasn't quite sure about the remover because I could just use an oil-based remover, but they have a bond on one side. So it's like you apply mascara, but you don't want to apply too much. A little bit goes a long way. Then the other side here is the sealer. So once you have your lashes on and everything, you just go back over and this will take away any of the stickiness. So this is really exciting because when you wake up in the morning, you see yourself after you take off your frownies, which is your perfect smooth forehead that I've been getting, you'll be thrilled that you have lashes that make you look like, oh my gosh, you just had your makeup done and you have nothing on. So what we're going to do is I'll take these out. This is what they look like. They are these wispy little lashes and they're very, very light. Let's just open the other half too and see what we have here. I'm gonna just rip this open because I always have all these security seals on them. So let's look at these and see what these look like. So we have the small, medium, and large here. So that's nice. You have all different types of sizing that you can do. I'm going to really concentrate on just lifting my eye and not going too far to the end. So let me get out my small little mirror here, my little compact. It comes with these little tweezers and what they do is you can hold them and put them on underneath the eye. And then you can also clamp down to make sure they're sealed or you can use your fingers instead. I like to use my fingers. I sometimes find that this is a little bit harder to kind of squeeze down on the actual extension and also your lash. So I just go like that. 
So we're going to first apply the bonding, but I want to make sure my lashes are up. So I'm gonna just take my Shuamora. I'm going to just squeeze my lashes together and get them up. Lashes are up. So now they're not straight out at, at you. I'm not doing any primer or anything on my eyes because I just wanna keep it so you can see like the dramatic difference. So we're going to use the bonding. I'm gonna just use it like mascara, go to the base. I really want it to be at the base here and then I'm going to come up. I want the base because that's where it's going to really bond. Go to the base, pull up. All right, so it's on. I didn't do too much. Then this bonding is made in Korea also. I checked because I knew that you maybe were going to ask. I'm going to take the small and actually, you know what? I'm going to take medium. I'm going to take the medium. I'm going to pull it off, take it in the tweezer, go right underneath my lashes just like that and then let it go. So it's right there at the base where my lashes start. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take another medium. You know what I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take my regular tweezers, my precision tweezers, because for some reason, I feel like this little guy here is not helping. It's like pulling them off. Go underneath just like that. Put it there, go again. This is my third medium, and then I'll switch to small. So I'm just gonna go right to the base here, pulling it off. You have to be very careful when you pull these off of the pad because you don't want to ruin them. Go right underneath. And then I'm gonna take a small and I'll put it right for my last one closest to my nose. All right, so instead of clamping down like this with this little guy, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just make sure that they're all really nicely attached to my lashes. So now you don't feel a thing. Now, they could be shorter if you wanted to have shorter ones. These are the medium and then one small, but I wanna see something. If you have really no lashes and you wanna be a little bit more demure, you can go shorter, you can do all smalls, and you can also do the mocha so it's not gonna be black. Then I take the seal, which is the clear, and it's going to take away any of the stickiness that might be there so it won't come, you know, won't be attaching when I blink. So you wake up like this and it makes you look like you have makeup on, it makes you look like you have this nice definition to your eyes. And this is something that's very hard for mature women to get without a ton of makeup on. So if you don't wanna wear makeup, but you want to look put together, maybe just do your sunscreen, your tinted moisturizer, your BB cream, or maybe you do a little of your color correctors underneath, just like I did. I'm gonna put a little BB cream on in a second. I'm gonna do the other eye just so we can even it out. And I just, I remember in 2020 waking up and you know how you felt in 2020. Like, it was just like, wait, why do I look so not like myself? And I loved waking up and ha I would forget that I had the lashes on and I just felt like it made me feel so much better. So again, we're gonna just go and get, this is like the best though, seeing the difference, right? Like there's no makeup on. I didn't even put eye primer on or anything. And the best part of it is you don't feel a thing. So I'm going to just take my bond again. I'm gonna put it on just like my mascara, just concentrating at the base and then lifting up. You want less is more with the bonding. You do not wanna put it on like mascara, clumpy, clumpy, keep going and going and going because that is going to create more problems for you. You want it to be nice and thin and you've got to be very careful on how you pick these up because they are very delicate and they can get really damaged very easily. And now I'm going for the last small one, just in the inner corner of the eye. Again, I find that it, you've got to be so careful picking these up. I feel like we need to put a little bit more bonding, like right in that inner corner. So I've just sandwiched them together. And then I'm going to, to make sure that I don't have any like stickiness, I'm gonna take the seal again, and I'm gonna to go to the base, and I'm going to just apply just at the base there so nothing is sticky. 
and there I have it. So I'm gonna just do a little BB cream. I'm using my light BB cream and I'm going to just buff up my skin. Let the lashes do all of the featuring for my face. I'm gonna do a little lip gloss, but this is a summertime, like a summertime look. Like they can be shorter. They can be the mocha color. They don't have to be, you know, this kind of dramatic if you don't want them to be. You have to play around. It's so simple. You literally put them underneath your lashes and then they're there. They, they just stay. You don't even feel them. So this is something that I think that mature women dramatically changes your face, your attitude, just seeing them, being able to do them yourself, not even having to go somewhere to get them done. They easily come off. They don't damage your lashes. I mean, how great. Oh, you know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to do a little cream blush on my uh, cheeks just to give a little bit of color. And then we'll do a little lip. I'm going to just take a little Palm Beach and put that on my cheeks. I feel like I have a little too much cream blush on my cheeks, especially since I have some redness going on with the blemish. I'll take it down with my BB cream. And then I will, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to just do a little new beauty. This is one of my favorite new lip glosses. It's like this beautiful, just natural peachy color. And then it looks like I actually have on more makeup than I, than I do. And I love the fact that it can be dramatic. It can be simple. It can be whatever you want it to be, but you're in control. You're in control of being able to make yourself look just like you're going out for dinner and you want something different. Mascara is just not cutting it for you. You want to have something that really gives you that powerful kind of confidence or look or something just, that's just different. I think it's amazing that you can do this literally in under five minutes feel good, look different, and really have something that's inexpensive, but such a confidence booster. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.